everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make these really nice cell phone bags. You can even call them a cross body bag. And it's I'm just making it out of quilting fabric. It's lined on the inside and I'm using plastic snaps. And you can make them out of any color that you like and use any fancy lining that you like. So for this bag you're going to need fabric for the outside, some lining fabric, and fusible interfacing. You'll need a half a yard of each. Your fusible interfacing, I recommend a medium weight. Heavy weight, I find it was a little hard to fold the bag in the correct places that it needed. It didn't quite lay out right. So then you want to cut out of all of your fabric pieces, you want to cut one 14 by 15 inch square, one 5 inch square. Your straps, you don't need interfacing for your straps, and so you can either cut one strap if you want it just to go over the shoulder, or if you want it to be a crossbody bag going from one shoulder down to the opposite waistline area, you might need two. Your fusible interfacing can be either bought right off of the bolt in a fabric store or you can even find it in packages. You just want to make sure that it will accommodate the sizes that you need to cut. Now here is how you're going to cut your lining fabric and your outside fabric. You want to fold your fabric with the selvage edges together and then you want to make sure this edge is straight. I like using a long ruler and using a rotary cutter. You get more accurate cuts that way. So move your ruler over 14 inches and do a cut. And then you're going to cut your straps out. So there, if you're either going to cut one to two straps. So you move over two inches and cut and then do your second cut if you need two straps. Then take that piece that you cut 14 inches wide, unfold it, and then down here on one end, cut the selvage edge off. Go over 15 inches and cut, and then out of your remaining piece of fabric, cut your five inch square. Your strap or straps, one or two, you want to cut the selvage ends off at each end. Now on your lining fabric, this polka dot fabric is my lining. On the back side of that lining fabric, I fused my interfacing. Just follow package instructions for putting it on. It's really simple. Once you've got that on, then you want to go ahead and take your fabric for the outside and the lining, bring them together. Then take something round, place it in like this. When the side of the circle that you have hits the edges, then trace around it. And then go over to this side and do the same thing. Then take scissors and cut this off. Then go ahead and stitch a quarter inch wide seam all the way around. Then on the two curves, here and here. Just go ahead and cut little clips. Make sure you don't cut through your uh, thread seam. Now turn it front side out and reach inside and push against your seams, pushing it all the way out. Then go to your ironing board and press all of your edges flat. Take your fabrics for the main body of the bag. This is my outside fabric. This is my lining. And on the back of the lining, fuse your interfacing on. This is my 14 inch wide edge. Be careful you select the correct edge. On the 14 inch wide edge, you want to put a mark at the center, which should be 7 inches. Always measure your own fabric first. Then on the flap for the top of the bag, you want to measure 
the center, which should be about two and a quarter inches. So now open up your fabric and place the lining side together and match up those little center marks. This is real important. Everything is centered. Then place pins along this edge and then this edge down here and stitch across the two edges. For right now, we're going to leave the side edges open. Now turn it front side out. Just reach in through one of the side openings. And now you want to take all of your pieces or sections and pull it out like there. Straighten out the seam edges. Then you're going to go to your ironing board and press all of your edges nice and flat. One of the reasons why I didn't have you stitch the sides yet is because I want you to make sure everything was placed in the correct way and that your seam allowance was exactly one quarter inch. I made a lot of these and each one turned out differently. You have to be very careful. Your seam allowance is one quarter inch and everything is centered here. So now to find out if you did everything right, fold it over and make sure this fold is even with this edge of the flap and go all the way down. You should have about a quarter of an inch of fabric sticking out over here. If you don't, something's off. Okay, so now once you've pressed that, fold this over. There should be a quarter of an inch of fabric sticking here. This fold should be right in the center and you should have a little bit of fabric sticking out. And press this. Open up, get it out of the way, go to the other side. Fold it all the way down this edge. Now one thing that I noticed is that there's more fabric sticking out over here than there was on this side. So this center piece might be off. So if that's the case with yours, you want to go back inside, open it backside out, and recenter this, making everything is the same. Then fold this over, making sure that this fold is right in the center, and then press it. So now that everything looked pretty good, I'm going to go turn it back side out and flatten it all out. Place pins on both your edges that are not stitched and on one of your edges, just one, you're going to leave an opening that's large enough for your hand to go through. So go ahead and stitch a quarter of an inch wide seam on this side and then on this side. Then go over to the other edge stitch a one quarter inch wide seam all the way down. Now go to all four corners and cut some of the fabric off and you do this so that the fabric will lay nicer at your corners. Then go through your opening and turn it front side out. Now stitch close to the edge all the way around the bag including the flap. Now we're going to make the straps. If you're going to make it a crossbody bag, you might need the two pieces of fabric uh, cut out. So if you're going to do that, stitch the two pieces together, a quarter inch seam, and then press your seam open. Then take your long strip and you're going to at each end, fold it over a quarter of an inch and press. Go to the other end and press. Then fold it in half and press all the way down. Then after you do that, you're going to take each side and fold it towards that pressed area in the middle, that pressed crease in the middle. Don't bring it right on top of it. Press that edge. Now bring this side in and press. Then fold it over like this and press again. And then along this edge, stitch close to the edge all the way down. 
Now we're going to put the straps on before we do that final seam on the side. So take the ends of your straps and I'm going down an inch and a half from here and placing the bottom of the strap. I'm also placing it a half inch over from where this uh, side area will be. Place pins on it. Try it on. See if the length of the strap is what you want. Then make any adjustments, whether you need to cut some off, maybe you need to cut another strip. It really depends on you. Once you have that, all of that figured out, then you're going to stitch up an inch across and down and over. Then go at a diagonal from corner to corner and over this way. Do the same thing on this. This is what your strap should look like on the outside after you've stitched. And then this is what it would look like on the inside of the bag right here. So you want to press all of your edges flat and at the opening fold those edges inside the opening a quarter of an inch and press. You don't need to stitch it closed just yet. So now fold these over to where it's even with each side of your flap and press with your iron. Now fold this corner and the bottom corner over to meet the side. Then press it. Now move it out of the way. Fold this one over and press. Fold this back over to this edge and press. And hopefully when you press, these two edges will be together in the center. Now measure the distance from here to there. So now on the outside of your fabric, whatever that seam or that width was of that final pressing, take that measurement and put that line, if it's two inches, whatever it is, and draw a line straight down. Then place pins, you're bringing these two edges together, place pins and then stitch right on top of that line. Now fold it back in like this after you've stitched. Take the bottom edge and fold it up towards this top edge right here. Now take these two edges and line up the edges together and stitch down to the bottom of the fold. When you get down towards the bottom, make sure you fold this fabric here back a little bit and then finish stitching down here at the bottom. Then you want to go to the other side and stitch the other two pieces together. So when you unfold it, it looks like this from the side. And when you look down into the top, this is what it looks like. Now you're going to put on whatever type of snap or Velcro closure that you want to use. I'm going to leave that up to you. So when you fold your top flap over, don't bring it snugly against this area. You want to leave a little bit of space, at least a half inch, because remember, once you put your cell phone in it and any other items, you want to make sure your Velcro, Velcro closure or your snap is going to be able to snap closed. These are the snaps I'm using. They're plastic. You can buy them in kits like this. They include uh, this little tool that you poke a hole into your fabric with, and this is a tool used to make sure that uh, the snap is secure into your fabric. You can go on Amazon.com, go to the sewing and craft section, and enter plastic snaps, and you will see these kits appearing. So select whatever color you want. Make sure you select two like this that have the large pointy piece coming through the center. Then you're going to select one like this called the male and then one like this that's female. Fold your flap over and then take the end of the flap and fold it back at least a half an inch. And in the center 
you're going to put a dot. Now luckily I've already got a little dot right there. Now remember this dot isn't going to show. And then right below it on the outside fabric you're going to put a little dot so you know exactly where your snaps need to go. So place this piece on the outside because this is where it's going to show. Then take either the male or the female, it doesn't matter, and place it on top like this and press it down a little bit so that it looks like this. Then take this tool and, whoops, got it upside down, put it in here like this and snap closed. Now take this other piece here and you're going to go inside of the bag and poke it through where you marked. Take your other piece and you're going to make sure that this side is up. Place it on top, push it down, take your tool, slip it inside of the bag, line it up, and then squeeze your tool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something new. Now if you're interested in other beginners sewing projects or even the projects behind me on the wall. To get to all those links, you want to scroll down below your YouTube screen to the description section. Click on show more or the down arrow. Scroll down a little more and you'll begin to see all of the links appearing. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.